What's up everyone, welcome back to another Stronghold Crusader video. It has been a while since I filmed one of these 12 days, 13 days, something like that. Sorry about that, went on a little bit of a holiday. I am back now, um, but today we are here for Rat vs. Hyena. Um, we are still on the Crusader Pillar mod tournament. Of course, the link for the download and to his channel will be in the description below. Without further ado, let's get into this game. Make sure our speed is 200 here so we watch these guys get up and running. I imagine this is going to be a pretty quick game here. Rat, don't do much. Um, never has, never will. Honestly, that's how it is. Also, Hyena, usually a pretty strong early game. Loves his assassins. And uh, assassins could do something. I'm wondering what's in that mix there. Oh, it is just spearmen and archers. Love how he's kept the base troops. I don't really like it when they go out of the base troops range here. In already up here, pulling in that tax money. Thousand for him. Five assassins walking forward here. Rat, though, with that quick attack. Archer's already down. They're going to be able to clue this off. Sending out an attack of his own. Um, Spearman doing some good raiding. Running is on for them, so they will run everywhere. Love to see that. Look at all those assassins. This could be dangerous. Could be the end of Rat, honestly. Um, never mind. Rat gets swordsmen. Does he build swordsmen or does he buy them? Definitely buys them. Hasn't kept his base troops. Um, I guess when Rat's got a surplus of money like that, does get swordsmen's assassins able to push through pretty easily. Rat's swordsman gonna save him though. Um, he's maybe at about five or six, not enough to you know actually do anything, but just enough for for a little defense there. It makes him just a little bit stronger. Pulling in cheese instead of apples, as we have seen in the original. I like that just a little bit better. Um, cow farms, I think, were a little bit more common than apple orchards. Uh, throughout, we have hyena pulling in everything, pulling in meat. Love to see that. Something we really don't see in the original is when they is when they would pull in meat. Hyena waiting kind of a long time here to build up his castle has really prioritized different things. Has already got a second in up, pulling even more taxes in from that. Of course, has gone a negative two fear factors. Peasants are running with everything that they do. Able to defend here pretty well. Is going to lose this orchard. Lumberjack going to be able to help him out there. Oh, three food types though. Really beneficial for Hyena. Pulling in that iron. Um, not using that iron at all. Able just to sell that off. Um, Rat though with those constant raids that is annoying. Probably won't last year as the castle does start to go up here for the hyena. Do like to see that rat fully up and running. Uh, great looking castle. Pretty accurate to what I thought the rat would be. Uh, village unprotected. Uh, more just concerned with himself. There's some protection, but not much. I love the defensive trebuchets for him. Also pulling in some iron. Love to see that. Um, iron very beneficial for him. He is making his own swords, or his own armor at least. I imagine he's got a blacksmith uh, producing swords somewhere. Is using those swordsmen for a positive advantage. Attack here coming in from the Hina. Counter attack going out from the rat. Swordsman gonna run into those assassins though. That is... Uh, Rat couldn't ask for any more. Definitely needed those for defense. Assassins just standing there though. I'd like to see them do something. Are headed up the wall there. Chopping down those archers pretty easily. Now scaling that gatehouse. Are going to go down. Great number of assassins. Do we see a swordsmith anywhere? Or a blacksmith? I don't. I see he's, pretty, he's got an armor. armor. So he is making that. I am trying to find one. But I really can't. He's producing a ton of bows and spears, though, um, as always. Hyena, just about fully up and running here. Pretty short up and running for him. Um, he's got his granary boxed in over here. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I like that, though. A little bit of extra protection there. Got stairs going, so you can access both ways. Still a valid gatehouse. little side entrance here. I like to see the double gatehouse here on the right. I'm able to... Cause just a little bit of disturbances. Also has an armor. Uh, wonder what for. It's producing crossbows and uh, belts or leather armor. Uh, interesting. Doesn't actually get anything. 
does get macemen though but doesn't get any crossbows you know for him making crossbows that must just sell him because i haven't seen him ever get one hyena here on another attack here um, defensive trebuchets coming in from the rat rat also sending out an attack it's a lot of assassins though coming in here able gonna do something again gonna run into those swordsmen are gonna be able to take those down a little bit more left over than what you would think assassins also able to kill off the other trebuchet uh, plenty of ballistas still up here able to help them to catapults also still up able to hit the front of this base and just do a little bit of damage here assassins going to work on the walls even though um, they could destroy all that economy right there but we can't complain uh, catapults will be going down here pretty quickly are taking heavy fire from the archers but um, still there start a fire in his base oh and it spread like wildfire does he have any wells he does he has one well uh, and the one well man just burned to death uh, that definitely puts a little bit of damper on that eco here fortunately for him is he still has all his economy outside and just not able to produce anything I'm still trying to bring in those resources Stockpiles are looking good, but is unable to get troops here. Hyena also on the raid with those assassins. Be able to send them up and over the wall. The rat looking extremely weak here. Could be very close to the end. Um, oh, here's here's what I was looking for. I was wondering why there wasn't a second gatehouse on this side, but actually it's uh, more of a trap. I think it would actually almost be better to batter down this gatehouse and go in this way than to go. Um, in through this side because you have two fire throwers here at the edge uh, it could be really detrimental here hyena another attack looking like this should be the end of the game here ton more macemen really just takes them a little bit to get those macemen up and running we'll have to see the diggers in that build here we go slingers running in trying to do some early work assassins also on the way in right most likely will be going down here half on the way in Basemen are going to go up. Rat, he's going to go down. Hyena picking up another victory in this tournament. Really impressed with Hyena overall. I love his play style. A lot of medium units, uh, but really throws them together in a good combination there. He's uh, very rem reminiscent of Snake, honestly. So, love that. Let's go ahead and jump over to the bracket. We are in the bracket. First thing I want to point out is I did fix the pig and a mirror thing. Um, I fixed it a little bit ago, and I did put that in one of my videos, but I'm still getting comments about it, so it is fixed. Amir has that victory now. Um, gave one to the hyena here as well. Looking powerful. Three and oh. I like to see that rat has been able to pick up a win this tournament. Oh and three. Um, interesting. Very interesting. Uh, but yeah, hyena. We'll be going against the Amira next match. That'll be extremely exciting. Um, you know, Hyena is kind of that that scrappy player, kind of dirty. You know, I could I could see him doing something to Amira um, that maybe we haven't really seen before with all those assassins coming in. But the Amira, Amira is also pretty powerful within her own right. Rat, we'll be going against the Inquisitor next round, and we'll probably take another loss. Uh, but we'll watch it anyways. I always love watching the Inquisitor play. Um, he is probably my favorite lord. As always, thank you guys all for watching, and I will see you all next time.